Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. My name's Amber and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kids. Today's video is going to be an extreme closet declutter organization video. So if that sounds good to you and you enjoy videos like this, stick around. So this is what I'm working with. I have clothes from end to end of my closet. I'm going to be getting out my big sweaters, vests, and things and putting them up. I also have on this other side of my closet is this bin down here, which is covered by bags that I need to go through. That is my summer clothes. And I also have some summer clothes up here, some new ones that I ordered, and then some right here. I have my kids' picture things hidden here, so I need to put them up before I go through all this stuff. But I'm going to just empty my closet and start from there. Here I'm just separating my clothes into three different piles. One is things that I'm putting away, one is things that I'm keeping out, and one is a donation pile. One of my son's favorite toys right now is my daughter's baby doll strollers. He's always bringing them out and pushing them all around the house. So as you can see, that left pile is the things that I'm going to be folding and putting away. It's mainly heavy hoodies, big sweaters, jackets, and things like that. I think it also helps to go through one by one everything that you have in your closet, in your dresser. That way you can see if it's been a year or so since you've even worn something and then you can just give it away since you don't wear it anymore. There are some things I feel like I do keep just in case because my weight has fluctuated so much in the past few years with being pregnant, being overweight, losing weight, getting pregnant again. So I just keep things just in case instead of buying new clothes all the time. But it makes me feel better when I give, get rid of some. Looking back on this and editing this video, I feel like I do have way too many clothes. I don't realize it in the moment, but seeing me pile up all these clothes onto my bed makes me realize I have way too many clothes and I could probably do this all again and get rid of even more. Some items I put into a keep pile and then I had to do a double take and say, I haven't worn this in two or three years, I might as well just get rid of it. pile of things I'm going to put away for winter or fall next year, things I'm going to be hanging back up, and then a few things that I'm just going to be getting rid of. When I do cleaning a lot of the time or start a big project, I will put on a cleaning video on YouTube and just leave it on the TV so that way I can get a little bit extra motivation to just get going and keep going until it's done. Okay. 
Those are my father-in-law's shirts that I just showed you in that little clip. When he passed away, I picked a couple of his shirts to keep for myself, but I've just kept them up, up and safe. I haven't worn them yet. In this little box, I usually keep like scarves and little head wraps, so I think I'm gonna empty it out and put baseball caps in it. Then I just emptied out this whole bin, which houses my spring and summer clothes. I emptied it out and then refilled it with my heavier clothes that I won't be wearing for the rest of this year. And Bobby wanted to say hi. I have some shoes like these and these that I'll almost never wear unless it's like a special occasion. And then I have some long skirts in here, which I also probably won't wear unless there's like a funeral or a wedding or something. So I'll be putting them back into this bin, but on the top so that they're easy to grab if I need them. I found a bag full of Brinley's clothes from last summer in my bin, but I ended up having to just get rid of them because they were all 4T and she's not gonna fit in them anymore like I thought she would again this year. How I decided to organize my closet with all my clothes going back in was tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeves, and then dresses and rompers. And then I'm just finishing hanging up the rest of the things that were in my bin at the bottom of my closet. Okay, now I just have to reassemble. I took everything out, vacuumed this, took everything from up there and went through it. I put my tank tops in the front and then t-shirts, long sleeves, and I kept my hoodies out because it's still gonna be cool, and then dresses in the back. This is literally a bag full of bags. I'm gonna keep everything in there for when we travel and stuff. I need to, this is my winter stuff, so I'm gonna just put it at the bottom of my closet. These are my winter shoes. I need to hang these up or get rid of them, obviously.
I hung up all my extra plastic containers, so I'm probably gonna hang these in my husband's closet or throw them away. I took my fuzzy winter socks out of my drawer and then I just have to put this stuff back in my closet. I organized my dresser. I put bras in this one. Um, this one is just my regular socks. I've got bathing suits and sport bras in here. This is my underwear. And then my first drawer, I just have camis and tank tops. If you roll them, they fit a lot more. Um, I have shorts, cozy shorts, jean shorts. And then in my bottom drawer, I have like cozy pants, leggings, and jeans in the bottom. This is a heater that has been in my closet since we moved in here. So I'm gonna take that and this bag to the basement. I hope you guys enjoyed this closet motivation, spring cleaning. It really doesn't look too much different, but I feel so much better about it. I really had clothes out to like here. So I minimized a lot of it, put my shoes together. If you like this video, subscribe to see more like it and we'll see you guys in the next one.